What are you doing out this late? Ah, walking the dog, huh? I didn't know you had one. We used to have a dog, too. Man, that brings back memories. What? <laughs> He's a lively one, isn't he? I bet running alongside this little guy would be great practice. For now, I'll run along home. I'll see you later.
I've been writing more of my story. How much did I tell you about? Oh, right. The pink alligator and the bird became friends, right? This was the alligator's first friend, and he was very happy. They started going to the river every day, and the alligator would listen to the little bird sing. But the pink alligator still had trouble hunting because of his color. He was so terribly easy to spot, and his prey always had plenty of time to escape. Eventually, he became so hungry that he grew dizzy. And one afternoon, he accidentally ate the bird as it slept in his mouth. Of course, he immediately realized what he'd done. He drank swamp water to vomit his friend back up, but he was too late. The bird was already dead. After that, he couldn't bring himself to eat anything. That's as far as I've written. I haven't decided on an ending yet. You really think so? Then maybe you'll enjoy the final product. I always thought the only thing I could give other people was hopelessness. But maybe... You know, when I mentioned I was writing a diary... That was a lie. I was writing my will. I couldn't face reality, and I was essentially screaming curses into my notebook. For now, though, I'm writing my story in the same notebook. It probably isn't very good, but it contains some things that I've learned during my short life. When it's done, I'd like you to be the first to read it. Meeting you is why I started writing it, you know. I've been trying to come up with a good ending, but I just can't decide. And I'm running out of time. I've got to go now, but I hope to see you again. flowers. If it weren't true, it'd be even weirder! Damn it! You really backed me into a corner here. I can't just not go now after all this. But... Well, thanks. Guess I should take a page out of your book and finesse my way in. Except these flowers don't really make me look cool at all. Maybe I should come bursting in with the whole bouquet. Oh, 
<laughs> we meet again. Oh, right, you're walking your dog. Wait, have you been doing this every day? So his name's Koromaru-kun. Wait, it's written with the kanji for tiger and wolf? What a badass. Welcome back, little buddy. Oh, you can run around all by yourself, huh? Oh, aren't you a clever boy? Oh, man. I actually need to get going. I'll see you later, you two. yet another transfer student. Is this really our third one? Guess that makes it a hat trick. Go on, introduce yourself. My name's Ryoji Mochizuki. I'd appreciate it if you could show me the ropes. Hey, he's kind of cute. I was thinking the same thing. It's nice to meet you. He was living overseas for a long time due to his parents' work. And that means he might not be familiar with all of our customs. Be sure to give him a hand if there's something he doesn't understand. Thanks. Now then, you need a seat. Let's see. That one's open. Up front, second from the left. Oh, um, Miss Toriyumi? That seat's taken. You don't show up, you lose your seat. Have I not been clear about this? Life is just a game of musical chairs. Let that be a lesson to the rest of you. Uh-huh. Hey there. I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. You are dangerous. Dangerous? I haven't even asked you out to dinner yet. Dinner? <sighs> hmm? I guess, what's the matter? Uh, rejected right off the bat. You're one interesting girl. What the heck? Your teacher understands, I guess. You barely had time in the spotlight as the new kid, and now you have to share it. Except right now, you should be paying attention to me. Hey, is anyone even listening? All right. Oh, I do. And please, call me Ryoji. Hey, do you have plans today? If not, maybe we can go somewhere for tea? 
Mochizuki-kun? Sorry to interrupt, but could you stop by the faculty office? I'd like to give you a copy of the paperwork for your transfer. And let's see... Right, could you come along too? Go ahead and take that home with you. That should just about do it. Thanks. Guess I'm done here then. See you tomorrow. Uh, sorry, hold on. Could you two take these boxes over to the music room? Yes. You know where the music room is, right? I think the boxes are full of sheet music. They're really heavy, so be careful not to hurt yourselves. I signed for these packages on behalf of the music club, but I can't keep them here forever. That damn Ekota. I mean, d Mr. Ekota has been talking my ear off, nagging me to get them out of here. Come on, we can't let the poor teacher carry all that herself. Let's help her out. Ooh, now that's what I like to hear, Mojizuki-kun. Why don't I bump both your composition grades up a little? Joking, of course. I wouldn't mind handling this by myself, but I did just transfer here. Do you think you could show me the way to the music room? Whew. I think that's all of it. That was harder than I expected, but the teacher needed our help, right? I gotta say, though, you are stronger than you look, huh? Do you work out or something? Oh, are you on a sports team? Like baseball or soccer? I think there's a track team, too. I'd like to join one, too, but I guess they're not recruiting right now. Oh, that's right. This caught my eye when we walked in. I notice you're always wearing headphones. I take it you're really into music? How about I play you a song to break the ice between us? Sound good? Great! Here goes. If I impressed you, it might be a good way for us to hit it off. There's so much that I'm not comfortable or familiar with yet. So, I want to keep learning and trying new things. I heard you transferred here too, back in spring. Seems like we have a thing or two in common. You think we can be friends? What do you say? Likewise. Mm, thanks. Somehow, it already feels like we've known each other for a long time. So, uh, what are we supposed to do in this situation? Oh, right! I think we exchange phone numbers? Uh, sorry, I don't have my phone right now. Why don't you just give me your contact info? I'll note it down and get back to you later. I'll be in touch. Looks like we still have some time before it gets dark. How about you show me around the school? Just whatever parts you're familiar with.
story. morning. Attention, please. I have an announcement regarding the recent Bay Area Art Contest. Hiraga Kun's painting was selected for consideration in the final round. Wow! Huh? Wow! Your piece was really good. You might even win. Please, it's all thanks to my paintbrush. I was lucky to use my dad's quality raccoon hair one. It really helped apply the paint to the canvas. So I'm sure that's the only reason the judges even noticed. Thank you. But I've only been painting for about two years now. So I never imagined my piece would go so far. You should have more confidence in yourself. You've been practicing so hard. He's right. Everyone knows how late you stay. Thanks, guys. But I should be supporting all of you, not the other way around. 
I'm sorry. I should be setting a better example for new members like you. I may not be much of an artist or a leader, but I hope we can keep working to improve our skills together. I've come this far. I might as well continue this for as long as I can. Oh, look at the time. Time to head home, everyone. How do I convince him? Oh, why am I... I feel kind of weak. Your breathing is impaired, and your lips are pale. Did you get enough sleep last night? And what do you usually have for lunch? Uh, now that I think about it, I, I didn't eat breakfast today. Mm-hmm. I see. Just as I thought. Looks like anemia. Probably from an unbalanced diet. It must be all the fast food. I recommend adding more shellfish to your diet, like oyster and abalone. They're packed with iron and easy to cook. Don't call me that. This is just common sense. Being the son of a doctor doesn't have anything to do with it. I'll take him to the nurse's office. You guys should head on home. So then, I took it apart and put it somewhere. <laughs> I want to go to a bar called K Sarah Sarah. It's down this way. I was thinking of getting Mitsuru-san a gift. And I heard I might be able to buy what I'm looking for at the bar. Hey, what's up with them? Who knows? What's a kid doing here? Maybe it's too dangerous. But, supposedly, it's only open at night. Oh! Okay. Hmm. Huh. Is it a bit further down? <sighs> now there's little kids running around? Oh, it's become so wholesome here. Hey, it's past your bedtime, little boy. Mommy's waiting for you. 
<laughs> Thank you, but I'm all right. If I let it bother me, then it'll never go away. I just want to finish what I came here for. This looks like the place. The owner here is really particular about the taste of his drinks. They say he has ingredients you can't normally find. And for one of the cocktails he makes, he uses an extremely rare tea leaf. I borrowed a computer from Fuka-san and gathered some information. Mitsuru-san seems to know her teas well. So I figured I shouldn't give her anything weird. I hope the bar owner is willing to share some of it, though. Well, he looked scary, but at least he agreed to sell it to us in the end. <laughs> Boy, I'm glad that worked out. I can't wait to give this to Mitsuru-san. With everything that happened, I'm sure she's been having a hard time. It's sad and painful to be in a home knowing that you'll never see a loved one there with you again. So, I'm hoping this makes things more pleasant for her, at least while she's at the dorm. Although, it is Mitsuru-san we're talking about, so I'm sure she'll be fine. I just thought it would be nice if she was able to think about things over a delicious cup of tea. You really mean that? I was just thinking about when the same thing happened to me. Well, we should head back before it gets too late. <sighs> nah, it's nothing. Thanks for joining me today, Senpai. And sorry for making you worry about all that stuff. We haven't really talked properly since what happened to Aragaki-san. I keep thinking about the last thing he said to me. I have to live for myself. But how exactly do I do that? I wasn't sure where to start. I've been trying all kinds of things. Things that the old me would have never considered. Like hanging out with my friends at school, reading manga, and even watching TV. I'm also trying to make an effort to talk to people in the dorm more. Mitsuru-san helped me with my homework the other day. And I even beat Junpei-san in a video game. <laughs> Oh, I also ate snacks with Yukari-san and the others, and igis san helped me feed hamburger. I realized that little things like this can really make life enjoyable. Well, that's what I've learned so far. <laughs> of course! Let's go get ramen together again one of these days. It was so delicious the last time we had it. You know, I've noticed other people in the dorm talk about you a lot. Everyone seems to be really happy when they do, too. The hard battles continue, but we're still able to keep going. And it's because we all know when we come back, they'll always be there for us. Yeah, I can't explain it very well, but I feel like you can see the real me. I want to be more like you, Senpai. I want to continue learning from your example. That's okay, right? Anyways, sorry that all took so long. 
The night air is getting chilly. Shall we go back home? Maybe it'd be better if I just quit. The club would probably be fine without me. Besides, I... I don't think I'm cut out to be an artist. What? How long have you been here? Did you hear everything? <laughs> so you did hear everything then? My dad told me to quit the art club. He said I need to study more and concentrate on my future. When I told him I was a finalist in the contest, I thought he'd be proud. But all he said was that I was wasting my time. He said it's my responsibility to take over the hospital because I'm his only son. My dad doesn't care about me. He only cares about his stupid hospital. And it's not just him either. Just because my dad's a doctor, everyone expects me to be one too. I have my own dreams too, you know. I can't stand it anymore. You're right. I have to tell my dad how I feel. Yeah, you're on to something. I figured it out. I'm going to make a bet with my dad. If I don't win the contest, then I'll quit the club just like he wants me to. But if I win, then I can do whatever I want. And as soon as I get home, I'm going to convince him. Do you mind keeping this under wraps? I don't want anyone worrying that I might quit the art club. So let's just keep this between us, okay? Hey, would you mind letting the art club know that I'll be taking the day off? I want to have the talk with my dad today. Well, see you later.
So, um... I recently expanded my outdoor exercise regimen, and I wanted to boost my nutrition and match. So I got some pork liver today because it's supposed to be rich in iron. But I don't think it'll taste like much if I just boil it like usual. That's why I'm gonna try cooking a pork liver stir-fry. I already looked up how to make it. Think you can help out? Good to hear. You like this dish too? I've already cleaned the meat ahead of time. All that's left is to cook the liver, and stir the chives, and bean sprouts in. And that should be it. Wow, this is great! I guess it was a good thing I took the time for all that prep. They say a boxing match is decided before the bell even rings. Maybe this is kind of the same thing. Oh, sorry. Obviously, this wouldn't have been possible without your help. I've still got a lot to learn, but it's hard to make time for it with all my training and stuff. Maybe if I attach weights to the pen when I'm flipping, I could kill two birds with one stone.
Um, it's nice to meet you. So, you said you needed to talk to me? Yeah, keep your hands off our girlfriends. All I've been hearing her talk about is Ryoji-kun. Yeah, you need to stop talking to every girl you see. Oh. Um, sorry. I actually have no idea which girls you're talking about. There's been too many that have come up to me. Wh is this a joke to you? I'm sorry if I offended you, but I haven't made any moves on anyone. I just invited them out for a bite to eat. That's exactly what we call making a move. That's a problem, then. I've made a promise to go out with them. I can't just cancel due to my inconvenience. Qu quit messing with us! Give me your phone. I'm gonna delete all the contact info you have. This is none of your business. Are you taking his side? Hey, it's that guy from 2F. I heard he's friends with Sonata Senpai and the student council president. They live in the same dorm. What do we do? If he tells them, then... <laughs> Look, just... Stay the hell away from our girlfriends and delete them from your contacts. Got it? Uh, all right. I'll do it. Better watch out, or he'll steal your girlfriend, too. <sighs> Sorry. I didn't mean to make trouble for you. Is that what you call it? That wasn't really my intention. All right, from now on, I will ask if they have a boyfriend first before inviting them out. Hey, thanks for having my back. You're very kind. <sighs> what a great view. The ocean looks so beautiful. I do like seeing it from the monorail to school each morning, but it looks so different from up here. Hmm. I wonder why those guys were so mad. If you're in a relationship with someone, that means you like each other, right? I don't think me getting in the picture would change that, would it? I wonder what it means to like someone. Do you have someone like that? Must be nice. Is it anybody I know? I wonder what you two talk about. I guess there's still a lot that I don't understand. Look at the world out there. The people in this city, our classmates in school, and you. I want to know more about all of it. All right, uh, since I dragged you into this mess today, let me make it up to you. I'll treat you to ramen. I just had some with Junpei-kun the other day. And while we're at it, maybe you can show me around town. I'd like to know what kind of places you like going to. What the heck? Isn't that... 
Suggestion. Day, I recommended the novel I'm reading to a classmate. I don't talk to her much, but at the time we were discussing a movie we'd both seen. She wasn't too keen on the recommendation and turned me down, though. It was because the series looked hard to get into. There are so many volumes. If she just gave it a chance, I know she would see how interesting it is. The basic premise is about journeying to other planets, and even that by itself already sounds intriguing. And the writing is so unique and poetic, I can't help but get sucked in. Recommending something to someone is a really tricky thing, huh? Well, thank you anyways. I appreciate you showing interest in that book. Okay. I think I'll read a little further myself. <sighs> Whew. I finished the whole thing. Time flies by so quickly. Let me know your thoughts on it next time. Well then, good night. Morning. as a secret ingredient in my cooking. But I couldn't really decide. 
And I wasn't sure how to use whatever I'd buy. Yes, you're right. I haven't even gotten the basics down yet. I'm getting way too ahead of myself. First thing I need to do is find something that I can actually make. I'm still having a lot of trouble getting things right. But I can't give up yet. Not after all your support. And it's not like I have any other redeeming qualities. Everyone in our group works hard. And beyond that, I think you all have something that you're good at. Not me. I mean, I guess I'm sort of good with machines, but that's it. It's honestly not worth mentioning, really. I just happen to like them. It's not exactly something worth boasting about. When I was little, I remember my dad's hobby was to work on complicated sound equipment. He'd fix things like broken amplifiers or headphones that only played sound on one side. I've always loved watching him work on those things. That's probably why I was drawn to working with machines in the first place. But I don't think that would be very useful to repay everyone's kindness. Plus, if we do ever have any technical needs, like when we're fighting, then we've always got the Kirijo group support. Not to mention that I'm kind of embarrassed about it all. I mean, it's not a very feminine hobby. Later. Thank you. I sure seem to talk about my problems a lot, huh? I wonder why it's so easy talking to you. I feel like you stop me from being so negative all the time. Actually, I might owe a lot to you in that sense. So much. Let's go home. Oh, welcome back. This should be enough. 
there was a program on TV the other day showing how to make tender chicken breasts. Slice against the grain, marinate it in sauce, and then cook gently at a low temperature. I'm gonna reclaim my pride today. Just you wait. Thanks, you can count on me. I'll make it so good, you'll be asking for seconds. So, we have to wash our hands first, and then... You're in charge of the rice and veggies. Mmm! So tender and juicy. Way better than last time. See? This is what I'm capable of. I knew I could do it if I tried. <laughs> I can tell you like it, too. <laughs> that look on your face says it all. I couldn't help but laugh when you started wolfing it down. Oh, but you didn't actually say yum. Hmm. Anyway, let's eat up. We still have cleaning to do after this. Finally found you. Hey, Takeba. You hardly ever miss student council meetings. I've been looking all over for you. Did someone ask you to come find me? Well, yeah. I'm not a member or anything, but still. Ah, oh, well. Sorry about that. You've been pretty busy, huh? What with the class trip and all. It's for both second and third years, so I imagine you have your hands full, too. The class trip. Even if I did go, I'd only spoil the fun. Wait, you're not thinking of skipping the trip, are you? <sighs> you can't do that. That's not an option. 
You know, I've been meaning to talk to you. About what? Well, honestly, you're not the easiest person to relate to. But I lost my dad too. And I know what that's like. Talk about. So I've decided I don't want our friendship to be over. I'm going to be more upfront with you from now on. <sighs> there she is! I've been looking everywhere for you. Huh? Ryoji-kun? Why are you up here? Huh? Weren't you looking for Miss President, too? I was doing the same thing. Some guy asked me to find her. He said if I didn't, the class trip might get cancelled. Ugh, Odagiri-kun. He'll hit up anyone in arm's reach for a favor. In any case, looks like I found you, Mitsuru Kirijo-san. And I have to say, you're quite stunning. Maybe we could go out sometime? I know this place on the top floor of a five-star hotel. The restaurant up there has a view of the city nightscape that's almost as breathtaking as you. Nightscape? Senpai! You better head back to the meeting. Oh, right. Takeba, thank you for coming to find me. For now, I'd better see to my duties. Hey, she left without giving me an answer. For now, huh? I don't like the sound of that. Well, how about you, Yukari-san? Care to join me for dinner? I know this place on Shirakawa Boulevard. Ow! something I want you to try and this time it isn't just for a taste test I think you'll actually be able to eat it wait uh, maybe I said the same thing last time well now I mean it Really? I'm 
so glad to hear that. Thank you. You know how I said I was having trouble with cooking? Well, I decided to try and find a recipe that even I couldn't mess up. And after a lot of consideration, I thought maybe making rice balls is something I could handle. But then I got really absorbed in how simple they are to make, yet still so hard to master. I made some rice balls today in home economics class, too. I know it's a little silly to make something so basic in high school, but it was all I could manage. But then, everyone in the class told me they were really good, though. Anyways, I've been really looking forward to have you try one. I wanted you to see how much progress I've made. Because I don't think I could have made it this far without you. Thanks. I know I've said this before, but... When I'm with you and the rest of the team, I'm able to see things more positively. And I think the most important thing is the feeling of wanting to make others happy. That might be the reason why I made such good rice balls. Because I was thinking about who was going to eat them. I'm the one that should be thanking you. Um... I just wanted to say... Thank you so much. Really. So, it turns out, there's actually a trick to making good rice balls. The first thing to note is while you're washing the rice, Cheers. 